Chances are, if you're seeing this video, you have an avatar that you have animated in Adobe Miximo, but you're frustrated that you only have so many keyframes to work with, and after about 70 or 100 frames, the animation just stops. So let's go ahead and fix that with the simple process that I saw a couple years ago and I've been using ever since. The first step is going to be selecting all of our keyframes, clicking Shift E, and clicking Make Cyclic. Now what that's going to do is extend this walk sequence over and over again infinitely. The only problem is, as you can see, it's just restarting the same walk sequence and he's not continuing to walk along the same path, so that's not going to work. Now it's worth mentioning that if we were trying to create a walk sequence in one single place, that step would be enough. Then in that case, we would just download an in-place walk sequence from Adobe Miximo. But since we want him to continuously walk forward, let's go ahead and do our next step. We're going to click over here in this drop down, click graph editor, and now we're going to see our animation data represented in a bunch of lines. Now we can see one of the, these lines is a little bit more dynamic than the rest, has a little bit more up and downs, and it's also blue. This is going to be the line we want to select. So let's go ahead and click on one of the nodes, click L, and it's going to select this entire line for us. And once we have this line selected, we're going to shift E again and click Linear Extrapolation. And now we have one final step before he's going to successfully walk along this green line continuously, and that's coming over here and opening up our Armature dropdown, and making sure the Z location modifier wrench right here is toggled off. Now once we can see the line is going straight up continuously, uh, that's a good sign. That's going to tell us that what we just did worked. So now I can see he's going to walk along this axis indefinitely. The final thing I'm going to do is come back here to timeline and then choose the duration I want him to walk along this line for. So 250 is probably fine. We could change it to 300, whatever we'd like. And then we can go ahead and export this entire walk sequence so we can use it for whatever we are trying to use it for. Like I said, I've seen different ways to do this, but this is the way I saw a while back that has really stuck with me. So hopefully it was helpful for you guys too, and good luck.